University of Wisconsin-Madison is one of the oldest public universities in the United States. It was established in 1848 and it's one of the highest ranked public universities and one of the highest ranked universities in all over the world. Uh, it has about 40,000 total students, over 900 different clubs, and many different majors and disciplines. People come from all over the world, so it's a really vibrant, diverse, and active campus. Our department is the Department of Agricultural and Applied Economics. It was established in 1909, so it's over 100 years old. It was one of the first specialized applied economics programs. Our department is very well known for its excellence in applied economic studies. Um, almost all of our faculty and students are doing empirical studies. They use data, they use econometrics methods, and um, apply uh, quantitative skills to the uh, analyzing the data and uh, generating research outputs that uh, really uh, have a big impact on uh, addressing uh, real world issues. So here at the Department of Agricultural and Applied Economics, we've had a number of programs for many years, including our PhD program and traditional MS program. But we decided to expand into the professional master's program for a number of factors. One is just the big increase in computing power around the world. So now, of course, we can analyze a lot more data, a lot more efficiently, which gives us a lot more power to take data and provide actionable results. The other big change has just been the big increase in data that's available to us. My favorite classes so far have been the AE636 and AE637, the Applied Econometric Analysis classes, because these classes um, focused a lot on developing quantitative and data analysis skills. I learned about the application of statistical and mathematical method. I also like that the professors made the class easy to follow. I learned about some programming or statistical software such as RStudio, Stata, and a bit of Python, which I found really interesting, and it unlocks my passion in data analysis. So the career outlook for economists in general and our MSPO graduates is very positive. If you look at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, fields in economics and jobs in economics are one of the fastest growing career areas and it's in very high demand. So our graduates go on to work in many different companies, many different types of careers. They work as data scientists, data analysts, financial analysts, economists, economic ana analysts, and many different types of jobs. The exciting thing about the uh, economist career is that you can also work in many different types of fields. So many of our graduates go on to work in international development and the nonprofit sector. Some go on to work for the government or public sector. Many go on to work in the banking or financial industry, the agricultural industry, education, health, pretty much every industry you can think of. They need economists to look at their data and provide insights. I currently work as a data scientist um, for a company called BHG Financial. So our company provides commercial and consumer loan services in the U.S. And our team is a predictive analytics team. So we are responsible for building, monitoring, and enhancing all the uh, predictive models in our company and also provide um, like data-driven strategies for all kinds of uh, business problems. I'm currently a uh, work for a tech company uh, based in San Francisco, and uh, uh, my position is business intelligence analyst. I work closely with our uh, product manager and the engineer to understand like uh, how different features on our website uh, like impact the like our user acquisition, retention, activation and uh, we are like aiming to improve the, like, uh, the, the user experience overall. Well, I am currently working at Queen Zebra Home. It is a consumer-based company here in Sugarland, Texas, and I am working as a marketing data analytics here. What my roles typically involves is gathering data from various sources like sales, market surveys, marketing campaigns, analyzing those data, trends, creating dashboards, 
report and sharing insights to the management. Apart from that, I am also involved in uh, evaluating the effectiveness of the marketing campaigns like measuring return on ad spend, conversion rates, uh, the main KPIs and optimizing those marketing campaigns. About a quarter of our students actually discovered their passion for research during the study here and decided to continue with uh, PhD uh, studies. Uh, our training has helped them to do really well in the PhD application. Um, almost all of them have uh, um, got offers. Um, many of them are in the U.S. and from very really decent places, well, including us in Wisconsin, uh, our own department, uh, school of business, or uh, like uh, some other uh, environment uh, study programs, uh, and also uh, like other places like UC Berkeley, uh, UIUC, Minnesota, Iowa State, Purdue, and, and also uh, some of them uh, got offers uh, with, uh, in Europe uh, and in China. So basically, uh, the students are finding where they want to go. I'm currently in a PhD of Insurance Economics and Actuarial Analyt Analytics uh, in uh, the Wisconsin School of Business. I worked as a TA for undergrad course uh, in the first year and I am now a research assistant for a professor at that department. I decided to do PhD is because uh, research is interesting to me. During my study in the MSPL program, I've got some great opportunities to work and uh, study with, profess to, uh, with professors to work as, a, as their research assistants. And during this process, I learned that research is uh, very interesting to me. Doing a PhD has always been one of my career goals, and I think it was the MSBO program that made it happen. So I think the program not only led me into the academic world, but also provided me, provided me with foundational knowledge and skills. And I enjoyed my academic work throughout these two years. So I believe pursuing the PhD allows me to delve deeper into topics that inspire me and con ho hopefully contri contribute insights to the academic community. People, especially in other countries, might not have heard of Madison, but it's actually the capital of Wisconsin and often rank among the top or the best place to live in the entire United States. And that's because of its natural beauty. There are many lakes and greenery around. There's lots of places to go walking and camping. There are great bike paths, but it also has a very strong economy based on the university and being the capital. I've been here a long time, and I would say one of my favorite things about Madison is just how much there is that is available to you in such a small space. Like being going here in undergrad, I could walk or bike anywhere and do anything in Madison. It was perfect. There, there was nothing I really thought, oh, well, I can't do this thing because I don't have a car or because it's too far away or I don't have time or something. Everything is just right here, which is so nice. And of course, it's a beautiful city. This is the best city I, put, I could ever want to start with. If I ever want to move a new country, if I, get, if I get a chance like this to stay in a city like this, because one, the people are really warm, they really help you out in everything. Everything. Second, there is a lot to see and a lot to do here. I like the climate, which probably not a lot of people are going to say, but I like the climate because I like cold climates. So I like the climate, I like the place, I like the student cultures, I like how students are treated. So the if there is a university that I ever would want to start again, or any place that I ever want to live again, this would be this. The thing I enjoy most about the MSPL program is, I think it's the close bonds among classmates and the, the easy accessibility of faculty members. I think it's a relatively small sized department where like faculty are approachable and supportive and uh, they foster a strong sense of community among students. I think our department has a great atmosphere. Um, all the faculties and staff really supportive and uh, they care about students. So from the first day uh, of being a part of our department, I feel a sense of belonging. I mean, we are not just students here. 
we share the responsibility to make our department even better. So I really cherish this feeling and my learning experience here.